so my name is Maria. Now I'm in Canada for two months and I used to live in Russia. So that's it. I'm 39 years old almost. And I'm a newcomer to this country. So I started my life here again. Fantastic. <laughs> my last health test was 8777. And okay. how many times did you take the test? I took it twice. Twice. And your the first time you took it, do you remember what your score was? Yeah. First time it was speaking seven, mm -hmm. reading 6.5. Uh, listening was eight points and writing was 6.5. So what about, um, just in terms of learning English, um, and not preparing for the exam, what would you say has most helped you to improve your English? When learning some new words, of course, Anki helped me a lot. Yeah. Yeah. You, you found the Anki flashcards helpful? Yeah. Helpful. Because it goes in terms with my memory. I mean, there are some people who learn words just writing them down. As for me, I need some associations. And in that term, Anki was perfect for me. Okay. Okay. Fantastic. That's good to hear. Is there anything else you'd like to say to people preparing now for the arts test before we finish the call? It seems to me that you should set realistic goals what you have to do is to take your time just take your time while preparing for your ielts exam yeah never give up never give up even if you didn't manage to do it from your first attempt you will definitely do it in a couple of time and you have to have your own strategy yeah. you have to what are weak points and strong points and if you know about your weak points you have to improve it and this is a long way it's not like you do it in one week one month mm -hmm, mm -hmm, just mm -hmm. some time yeah. okay okay so set realistic goals know what your weaknesses and your strengths are and work on your um work on your weaknesses and don't give up yeah yeah and very good advice and full immersion into the language okay yeah yeah fantastic great advice uh, maria um it was lovely to talk to you again yeah. and uh, i'll catch up with you again in the future no doubt and uh, thanks very much for for taking the time to talk to me thank you karen it was okay. nice to see you down bye-bye bye-bye yeah.